Welcome friends of the Greasy Shop Rag. Today we're going to take a look at a Husqvarna 525BX handheld blower. I don't even remember what the customer complaint was on this, but because I'm sniffing a fuel tank, it must not start or must not run right. So let's just follow along here, eh? We're going to pop the air filter off and uh, see what's going on underneath. The foam looks all right, at least on the inside. It's a little dusty, big deal. Uh, the felt isn't necessarily dirty, but it's soaked pretty bad. So that can create a little bit of a rich condition. And that metal piece that came out just prevents the felt from getting sucked into the carburetor. We're going to pop this uh, starter housing off of here and take a look under the hood. So what do you get when you cross a leaf blower with a rabbit? You get a hair dryer. <laughs> oh yeah, this was one of his complaints, now I remember. It rattled. The uh, bolt is broken on the cover for the uh, spark arrestor screen. So we're going to have to perform some major monkey business here to get this fixed. First we'll get the muffler popped off. You know, the shovel was a groundbreaking invention, but uh, I think we were all blown away by the leaf blower. So what do we got? Uh, just a broken bolt. Always try the easiest methods first. It won't back out with a pick. So we're going to center punch it and drill it out. And through the magic of editing, we're through. Then we're going to put a easy out in there and see if we can back it out. It's coming out pretty hard. Or is it coming out at all? Well, it backed right out, actually. And we were just able to thread a new screw in there. I know I kind of took the excitement out of it, but you know, a lot of times I get uh, called away from the bench and my recording gets all screwed up, so I don't always catch everything. But we got the bolt extracted and a new one in place. It's all good to go. But here's a bit of a problem. Look at when I hit the primer bulb, it doesn't want to return. And that is usually a sign of a restriction, either somewhere between the fuel filter and the micro screen in the carb, usually. Well, looking at this filter, I'm going to just go out on a limb here and say it ain't got nothing to do with it. It's still pulling really hard, even though it's just hanging out there in the air. I could take the filter off of this line and we'd see the same results. So we're going to go into the carburetor. Two bolts hold the carburetor on. Simple stuff. And I say that now, but when I go to put this back together, i am just got fumbly fingers or something. I don't know. This thing's got a lot of little parts uh, that got to go in a certain order. And if you don't do them every day, it, it can trip you up a little bit. So we're clamping the uh, hemostat on there just to kind of hold it in place. And you saw when I blew through that line, there was no restrictions there. So we put a new filter on it, threw it back in the tank. Now we're going to look inside the carburetor. What do you got there? That microscreen looks awfully dark from here. 
take a closer look. Yuck. Not sure what that black stuff is, but I probably should have replaced the fuel hose. That might just be uh, deteriorated hose. I didn't catch that when I did the repair. I didn't think of it. But I'm thinking about it now. So if this customer brings this back again here with the same complaint, uh, I think I, maybe I owe him one. We'll cut him a break on the labor. I don't have any fresh jokes right now, so we're just going to... Just gonna finish the second half of this video joke free. So we got our fuel line on the carburetor. We gotta connect our throttle linkage next. And you can see here, um, I'm fumbling. I don't know why. There's our throttle cable attached. Now we'll attach the fuel line that goes to the purge bulb. We'll get this little insulator plate sandwiched between the air filter base and the carburetor. Fumble, fumble, fumble. And we'll stick one of them long screws in there. I, I don't know why this is being such a pain in my butt. In fact, this is going to look like uh, I just got it, but I think somewhere along the line I might have edited out some video here, because this was ridiculously uh, a long stupid effort to bolt this carburetor on. But there it is, it's bolted on, and we're going to finish off by torquing it by hand. And check our throttle linkage and our choke linkage. We'll slap some go-go juice in here and uh, see if this thing will run now. Hit the primer bulb. Oh baby, that thing's working the way it's supposed to now. Just that restriction in a micro screen is what uh, causes that primer bulb not to return back to its normal shape. So let's see if this thing runs. runs. We'll slap the rest of the parts back on here, put the air filter on, and fire it up again and see if it needs any carburetor adjustments. There's our air filter part number. So that's all I'm going to have for you on the 525BX handheld blower. Oh, what do we got? Mufflers, screw replacement and carb gunk removal. Thanks for watching. Later.